2016, No Man's Sky was one of the most anticipated games of the decade. It promised the universe, literally. Infinite exploration, procedurally generated planets, alien wildlife, massive space battles. It sounded like the dream game we never knew we wanted. But then, things didn't quite go as planned. No Man's Sky was released to a wave of disappointment, frustration, and anger. The game was far from what players had imagined. But that wasn't the end of the story. In fact, this is where it gets interesting. To understand how we got here, we need to go back to the beginning. No Man's Sky was developed by a small team at Hello Games, led by Sean Murray. During early trailers, the team promised an infinite, procedurally generated universe. Every star, planet, creature, and landscape would be unique. Sean Murray became the face of the game, promising features like multiplayer, deep space battles, and the ability to seamlessly explore billions of planets. It all sounded too good to be true, and as it turned out, it kind of was. Hype surrounding No Man's Sky built to an unsustainable level. But when the game launched in August 2016, it didn't live up to those sky-high expectations. Players were greeted with a game that was underwhelming. The worlds felt empty. The deep space battles, not so much. And multiplayer, nowhere to be found. The backlash was intense. Refunds were demanded, memes flooded social media, and review scores plummeted. Even lawsuits were considered, with accusations of false advertising swirling around Hello Games. For a small team, this could have been the end. It would have been easy to pack up and move on. But instead, Hello Games did something unexpected. They stayed quiet and got to work. Over the next few years, no Man's Sky underwent a transformation unlike anything we've seen in gaming. Hello Games didn't just patch the game, they rebuilt it. Update after update, they introduced new features, fixed bugs, and addressed player feedback. The foundation update brought base building, allowing players to create their own settlements. Atlas Rises added a new story and improved visuals. And then came the next update, which finally delivered on the promise of multiplayer. Each update made the game better, more engaging, and closer to the vision players had been promised. By the time the Beyond update dropped, No Man's Sky had virtual reality support, massive multiplayer hubs, and new ways to interact with alien species. This wasn't just a comeback, this was a redemption arc of legendary proportions. Today, No Man's Sky is a completely different game from what it was at launch. The universe is alive with rich, varied planets teeming with unique life forms. You can build colossal bases, explore in VR, engage in deep space battles, and yes, finally meet other players in the vastness of space. Hello Games didn't just add features, they created an experience where every player can chart their own path. Whether you're an explorer, a builder, a trader, or a space pirate, no Man's Sky has something for you. So, what's the takeaway from No Man's Sky's journey? It's a story about ambition, failure, and perseverance. Sean Murray and Hello Games could have easily given up, but they didn't. Instead, they listened, they learned, and they worked tirelessly to deliver the game they promised. In an industry often driven by instant gratification and quick profits, No Man's Sky stands as a testament to the power of long-term dedication and listening to your community. So, whether you are one of the original fans or a newcomer curious to see what all the buzz is about, No Man's Sky is a game worth experiencing today. It's a universe of endless possibilities, and now it's better than ever. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more gaming content. What do you think of No Man's Sky's comeback? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you out there among the stars.